additional questions that educators should consider as they create units within the UDL framework is, are my assessments and assignments that I'm creating reflective of the learning targets and success criteria that I have set up for students? Is the lesson and what I'm asking students to do and to demonstrate culturally responsive and equitable and set up in a way that enables student-directed work that fosters choice and reflection so that students can learn to be advocates in their own learning journeys. To me, this speaks to the core of why I became an educator, and I'm sure many here sitting as well. If we want to cultivate a culture of lifetime learning and curiosity for our students, we need to design units that foster opportunities for students to build their confidence, self-efficacy, excitement, and empowerment so they feel academic wins over time as they're able to express what they know in a modality that is most meaningful to them. The shift here in thinking is that many of us are doing this already. UDL is just asking you to consider this from the onset in your curriculum design and approach for how all students learn best. As an educator, I want to do as much as I can so that no student walks through my door and feels that they don't have a chance to be successful because for some reason, there's an obstacle making my lesson inaccessible to them or reduces the amount that they're able to demonstrate to me what it is that they know. And I want to set up opportunities for them to flourish and to build the sense of confidence and excitement for a content area that feels relevant and important to them. 